Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to wire your AC day-night switch for your outdoor floodlight. The day-night switch can also be used for other light fittings. Right, before I show the real-life wiring, I'm just going to explain the principles of the wiring. We have a supply. Now a light or a load needs a live and a neutral. There you can see I've got a live and a neutral and at the supply I've got a live and a neutral. So what happens is from the output of the supply, there goes my live, goes into the day-night switch. The output of my day-night switch goes to my load. Then the light needs the neutral wire, which is connected to the supply. But because the day-night switch has an electronic circuit, the electronics also need current and voltage to operate, so it needs a supply. That is why the day-night switch also requires a neutral wire. Now, in most circumstances, people will be wiring it from the circuit breaker. Uh, just for explanation purposes, I have a 10 amp circuit breaker. Obviously, there are different wattages for your floodlights. He has a 10, a 20, a 50. You might even connect all three. And if you do want to connect all three, you'll just put them in parallel. I will show that at the end of the video, how to connect more than one load to your day night switch. So the first step is to connect from the output of my circuit breaker to my day night switch. Now the wire size is very important. For example, this is a 1.5 millimeter wire and this is a 10 amp circuit breaker. This wire is sufficient for this breaker running at 220 or 230 volts. There are specific rules about wire size for circuit breakers. I'm just giving a brief explanation that the wire must be able to handle higher current than the circuit breaker. The reason being is that the circuit breaker must trip before the wire burns. Right, specify your circuit breaker based on specific loads that you'll be using right now from your supply you will have connected from your supply and the neutral would have been connected from your neutral rail some people will just be using a plug so they would have a plug then they would go to the day night switch and then they would go to the light and this whole circuit would be plugged in to the mains via an outlet now if you are following this approach it's the same principle you will have a live and a neutral which will then go into a coupler which i will also demonstrate right so the point here is we need a live and a neutral from your supply whether you're getting it from a plug or whether it's coming directly from the circuit breaker and your neutral i now have a live and a neutral so in my case here is my live and my neutral coming from my supply the live is red in South Africa, so in your country it might be a different color. For example, you might be using brown for the live. In this country, we use black to signify neutral. Follow the same principle in your country, although the wire colors may be different. Right now on my luminaire, I have a brown, which is the live. So in this video, brown or red is considered live. The blue in this case is the neutral. So in this video, the blue and the black are both neutral wires. Then I have another wire here. This is green and yellow. This is my earth. And on my supply wire, I have this bare copper, which is also earth. So in this case, I'm going to use a three-way coupler. And the reason being is I need my supply coming in the wire is going to the day night sensor and then the load wire is going out right i have some glands here just to make it watertight and uh, i'm going to put my supply wires into the uh, coupler and then i've got my load wires also going in here right so i have my supply and my load now i need three wires going to my day night sensor. On this day night switch, there are three terminals. Notice it says live, so there's the live. Then it says N for neutral. Then it says A for appliance or load. Notice that the A is linked via the load to the neutral. The reason why it is three wires is I've got one for the live coming in, one for the neutral. That will give the day night switch power. But the day-night switch has a little relay inside and that is going to switch the load, the light on or off. So it also needs a live wire going to the light. So over here I have three wires. I'm going to be using black for the neutral. Then I've got red for the live going into the day-night switch. And then I've got another wire which I've just put yellow tape on each side signifying the load wire. This is going to be the wire which will be switched on or off depending on how many lumens are at the day-night sensor which will then switch on and off the light. So I have my three wires and I'm just going to thread these three wires. 
So over here I have my three-way junction box. Right, the power is off. Now I'm going to wire the three wires to the day-night sensor. Now when you are wiring it, just remember that you might need to wire it through another gland. In my case, I'm keeping it open for explanation purposes. Right, so I've now wired the live, neutral and load wires to the day-night sensor. So this part is complete. Now I've got to wire all these wires in the correct order. Now the first thing is just to look back at the diagram. Now having a look at the diagram, I can see that I've got a live wire going into my day-night sensor. So my incoming live wire is this one over here. This is my supply side and the live going to my day-night sensor is this wire over here. So these two need to be joined together. I'm just going to twist them for now. Right, now the neutral from the supply goes to the day-night switch and also feeds the load, my light. So that means I'm going to have three wires joined together. So the neutral from my supply is this black wire over here and the neutral from my light is this blue wire over here and the neutral from my day-night sensor is this wire over here. So all three of these need to be twisted together. Right, so I've done that and that. Right, now I have a load wire, which is also a live wire, but it only goes live when the day-night switch operates. So this is the switched live. This is the wire with the yellow tape. In your case, maybe you could put a different color wire here. I just put the tape to signify that this is the same wire as that over there. Now on the day-night switch, it is labeled as load. And now my load live or my load wire is this brown one over here. This is the live for my load. So my output of my day-night switch and my live wire for my light get twisted together for now. Now you may notice there's an earth wire sitting here and the reason why there's this earth wire is because the day-night switch has this chassis or this metallic surface. So I need to connect the earth to the earth of my supply. So there we go, I now have my earth connecting to the earth that came from my supply. Some light fittings do not have an option for an earth wire. So in that case, you can just omit the earth wire. Right, now it's very important to fasten these correctly. You can use terminal blocks like these. The only problem I have with these is they tend to rust over time. Also, the wiring standard specifies that if a screw has to come through and fasten onto a wire, it must not separate the strands. And because this is stranded wire, it would separate it. So I'd have to have boot laces here in order to use this if I wanted to do it correctly. Preferably, you can use ferrules and then a crimper to crimp it. This is a better option. So in this case, I will use the ferrules and then what I would need to do is crimp each one. Right, I've crimped them. I'd now need to tape them up and put them in such a way that they do not touch each other. I'm not going to close the lid as yet because just now I'm going to demonstrate how to add another light in parallel. But now I'm going to energize the supply. So I'm turning on the supply and just to show that it is working, I'm going to put this little black bag over the uh, day-night sensor and that cover. Notice the light comes on immediately and in the daytime, the light will go off. So the light has gone off because now it has enough lumens that are present at the day-night sensor. Very important when you do mount it, do not face the light onto the sensor, otherwise it will oscillate. Right, I've disconnected the supply. This is off, it's safe to touch. Now, if I wanted to add another light, all I need to do is actually add it in parallel. So in this case, I'd need a four-way splitter. All I need to do is connect the live to the same load live. So that could go over there. And then the neutral, all the neutrals go to the same place. So that would go there, for example. And then the earth, all the earths go to the same place. Now that may be confusing, so I'll quickly just show it to you on the diagram. So over here, I'm adding another light. Notice that the light is in parallel. So the live from the next light goes to the same live wire of the load wire coming from the day-night switch. So notice that the live for the first light and the live for the second light are actually touching each other, it's the same wire. And the neutral from the second light is touching the same neutral coming from the first light. So notice all the neutrals are actually touching each other. So here are two lights. 
just noting the live and the live would be connected to each other the neutral and the neutral will be connected to each other and the earth and the earth would be connected to each other and you can keep adding additional lights as long as the circuit breaker and the wiring can handle the inrush current the collective inrush current of all the lights that you have added as your loads for more details on the inrush current and selecting your led lights versus circuit breakers please check out my videos in my playlist called electrical tutorials i will post a link in the description under the video